Well, hello there, guys. It's Reed and the Box, and it looks like it's that time. It's time for yet another exciting food product review from YouTube's only straight edge food product reviewer. We have the Optimus Prime slushy here from Sonic. Now, this, of course, is uh, one of their promotional items as we build up towards the big Michael Bay epic this summer, the Transformers The Last Night movie. Yeah, I was a big fan of the cartoon growing up, of course. I love the Transformers cartoon. The movies, uh, you know how that goes. They're not that good, but they make a lot of money, and that's why they keep making them. So anyway, uh, gonna give this a review, and as always, remember, if you have anything you would like, read in the box to review. You gotta leave a comment below. If we like your comment, we may, we may pick out your request and review your item next. Thumbnail. Okay, guys, I do like how the slushy is has different colors and stuff and uh, I think it's just cool looking look at that it's pretty cool it's like it's transforming right in front of me just like when a girl takes her clothes off from being clothed to nude just like that it's like a transformer it's a good way to look at it I guess let's just get right to it people let's suck this thing down see what we've got here with the transformers slushies Slushies Optimus Prime. That's very refreshing. You know, Sonic does a great job with desserts. They just, their food, in my opinion, is not that good. But when it comes to things like slushies, ice creams, and milkshakes, and all that, they do a great job of that. This is good. This is very good. Mmm. Very refreshing. The flavor really does pop in your mouth. Very special indeed. Sonic has a winner with the Optimus Prime slushy here. They have two more flavors. I think they have, they might have more than two, but I saw a Bumblebee flavor and a Megatron flavor. But of course, my favorite Transformer of all time and still is Optimus Prime, baby. Love him. I used to have a bunch of his toys too, you know. Had a bunch of his toys at one time and I sold them not knowing what they was worth now, of course. I had the original Optimus Primes. And I had a, what I have, I had like what? 50 Transformers at one, at, and I had the first, I had Generation 1, people. I had Generation 1 Transformers. That's right. I had it when it first came out. I collected them somewhat, I think. But uh, I sold them like a dumbass. Yep. I had the boxes, too. Yeah, had the boxes. But anyway, back to the slushy here. It's very good. Got a lot of flavor. This may be actually the best slushy I've ever had. It's got, I think it's got two flavors mixed together, as you can tell. And a uh, good flavor here. Mmm. Oh, man. This is great. This is the best slushy I've ever had, people. That's how good it is. Mm, the cherry and I think it's uh, I think it's got cherry and like black cherry mixed in with it it's got two flavors there and it's wonderful I mean there's not much more to say about it you know it's just great box this brings back great memories of your childhood when you play with your transformers and even if you're an adult and you play with toys that's okay you know it's your life if you want to play with toys play with them but uh Anyway, back to this. I'm gonna give this a perfect score, people. The Transformers Slushy Optimus Prime. This one is absolutely amazing. Five out of five, no doubt about it. Beautifully done. I look forward to finishing this slushy. That's a lot of slushy, too. I mean, that is a lot. Good flavor, great flavor. So that's gonna be the official review, people. And as always, thanks for watching. Me in the box, we'll see you tomorrow with yet another exciting, food product review. This one is very smooth and it definitely has a lot better flavor than the melon flavor one that we reviewed. Uh, this one's a lot better. I would say it's kind of like a mellow yellow right when you take a sip of it, but I mean it's kind of got that, that flavor. It's kind of strange.
very nice. It, now, it's not going to taste like a mellow yellow, but you can taste kind of like a Mountain Dew mellow yellow with this one. This one is very, very good. I like this one. I thought they all were going to suck, really. I was like, they're all going to be bad. But the main green, I like it. Wow. Hydrate. Them. You know, people, I can remember when I had all them toys and um, I sold them. I think I was around 15 or 16 years old at the time, and I was like, you know, it's time for me to grow up and sell my toys. I you know I wasn't told to sell them by my parents or anything. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell them, and I'm going to grow up. I think that's what I was going to do. And um, I sold them, and we all know how that goes. You know, I was like, now they're worth a lot of money because I had Generation 1. And I had mostly Autobots. I think I had like 50 Autobots. And I had like one um, Decepticon. I don't, I don't know what it even was called, but I had I always collected Autobots. I never collected Decepticons because I was like, you know, Decepticons suck and all that. But I had a lot of them. And uh, my favorite one was the Jetfire, the original Jetfire, if you remember that one. That one was great. Uh, I had the box with that one, and I think I, I even had that one. I had the box with that one like most of the other ones, but that one, the stickers were not even put on the um, Transformer. I gave like 30 bucks for that. I think it's a time. But I can remember as a kid now, a new Transformer. Uh, it was like $20, $25, and this was in the 90s or late 80s, something like that. Late 80s, early 90s, and that was a lot of money. For a transformer you know 20 25 dollars in the 80s was a lot of money but uh i can remember i'd buy one every week somehow i would do something save money or something maybe i sold drugs i don't remember but i did something and i would make my 20 dollars a week i think it was like 20 21 22 dollars a week i would make it and i would buy me a new transformer every week that was insane loved them that much but anyway, that's a little bit of the story, people. I thought, you know, I'm going to sell them. I'm going to grow up. And uh, I don't need to be a kid no more. And it turns out, looking back on it, I was a dumbass. But you live and learn. You know, keep those toys. I had um, G.I. Joe's and stuff were big back then also, but I just collected Transformers. That's all I cared about. So that's pretty much it, people. Try these slushies. They are amazing. Anyway. Well, that's a little bit of the story, people. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow with another review of something.